Yes. What is the um, current news with the Community Bill of Rights? The Community Bill of Rights is moving forward. We will never stop. It is our right to drink our pure water, to breathe our air, and to live on clean land, to be able to live. So this, these are the facts. The facts are those. That those are our rights. So we will never stop. I mean, we will get our rights recorded as law. It will be an amendment to the city charter because we have to do it. We're, our water is threatened, our air is threatened, and our land is threatened by hydrofracturing. And that's simply unacceptable. We won't be a sacrifice zone for corporate profit. That's unacceptable. These are our rights. The Community Bill of Rights is proceeding, and we will pass it. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Howard, what is the importance of the Community Bill of Rights work we're doing? To me, the most important aspect of the Community Bill of Rights comes into context when you take into um, thought the Supreme Court decision of Citizens United granting personhood status to corporations. The Community Bill of Rights is one of the few ways that we the people have of exerting our preeminent rights over corporations in a, a post-Citizens United world. And what's some of the danger we're looking at from the fracking industry? The, to me, the, the biggest dangers are the long-term health risks um, regardless of whether the source is a trucking accident or a surface spill or a blowout or groundwater contamination through some other means, whether it be the fracturing itself or a well casing failure. The um, other big risk is complacency. People accepting that this is going to happen no matter what we do and that they're going to be exposed and that's not the case. This is a, a fight that we can make a difference on and we have the ability through the Community Bill of Rights to address our preeminent rights over those of corporations. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. On what is the importance of the Community Bill of Rights? Well, first of all, is who decides? Who gets to choose what is healthy and what is safe for our community? I think the people in this community need to choose that, and they need to have the final say in it. Not somebody in far away in some capitol building somewhere, sitting behind a desk. And what are some of the dangers we're looking at from the fracking industry? I'm looking at uh, bad air, bad water, a return to the choking and gasping and people with uh, respiratory problems, children with respiratory problems, uh, people getting sick somewhere down the line from drinking the water or eating the food that has been contaminated because the soil's been contaminated or the water's been contaminated. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.